I went into Stony Stratford on the bank holiday weekend on the Saturday just to do a bit of shopping and to go into the cafe. Um, I was walking along the high street with the road on my left and got to just in front of the Cock Hotel when suddenly Emma was knocked sideways hitting into my left leg and there was a, a slight backward movement so that alarmed me because she wouldn't normally go backwards. Um, I reached over her back and right up against her left side was the rear end of a car. It was quite busy on the high street, I couldn't hear it at all well, and of course I had no idea whether he was going to come back again or whether he was going to stay where he was. So I gave the back of the car two good wallops and shouted, oh, I stop there. And the next thing I knew from my left, I heard a woman's voice call out, well, what do you expect? You just hit his guide dog. She then went on to say, you weren't looking behind you. You didn't even use your mirrors. So she then came to me and said, I will be a witness for you. The driver, as far as I'm aware, never got out of the car. He called for me to go down and talk to him. Uh, that would have meant walking out in the road, which you never do with a guide dog to hold a conversation with somebody. So I said, no, I, I wasn't going to talk to him. The witness said she wouldn't talk to him either. And she told him to wait there until she'd taken all the details of his registration, licence, etc. I'm told, the police told me originally they were going to prosecute the driver for driving without due care and attention. They phoned me back last Monday to say that was no longer the case. Uh, it was a lawful manoeuvre. I said, since when has it been lawful to mount the pavement and run into somebody? And they wouldn't answer that. They said, are you happy with that? And I said, no, I am not. Um, they then told me that the driver um, was intending to claim against me for damage to the back of his car and that they would be leaving it to the two insurance companies to sort out and that was the end of the conversation. I then telephoned the citizen because I think it's outrageous that somebody can mount the pavement and hit in this case a dog, but she was knocked into me and of course she's part of me. So I don't think it should be allowed to rest as it is.